Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into Manor of Death. We're diving into episode 10, episode 9. There were lots of shenanigans that took place, and I imagine there's going to be even more shenanigans taking place in this episode, so I'm not going to have a lengthy intro. We're just going to dive on in and just see where the hell things go on the... Lord, Lord. Do you like me, เจนเนี่ยชอบพูดแบบนี้ผมฟังตลอดเลยนะครับผมเนี่ยครับต้นฉบับแต่ก่อนเจนน่ะเขาชอบยืนบนสีนิทานผมไปอ่านตั้งห
แล้วเรื่องนี้มันเกี่ยวกับผมยังไงผมคิดว่าเสี่ยวน่าจะมีส่วนรู้เห็นเกี่ยวกับเรื่องนี้ตอนตีหนึ่งสาสิบห้านาทีทางเราได้รับแจ้งเหตุว่าได้ยินเสียงปืนดังมาจากบ้านผู้แทนน้องชายของเสี่ยวตำรวจไปถึงที่เกิดเหตุพบแต่รอยกระสุนและร่องรอยการบุกรุกและทางเรายังได้ตรวจเช็คกล้องวงจรปิดตรงสีแยกพบว่ารถของผู้แทนถูกไล่ล่าโดยรถของลูกน้องเสี่ยง Mm. Oh, so y'all can do all this investigation and find this information, but. Look, น้องผมกับไอ้แพนเนี่ยมันอาจจะทะเลาะกันมาก่อนก็ได้ผมจะไปรู้เรื่องได้ยังไงผมอยากสอบปากคำลูกน้องของเสียครับผมใช้ไม่ไปทำงานฝั่งนู้นอีกเป็นเดือนเลยกว่าจะกลับแต่ไม่ว่ายังไงเนี่ยผมคงต้องไปเคลียร์เฮียปอก่อนนะครับเขาจะยอมฟังคุณนะครับ no ผมก็ไม่รู้เหมือนกันครับพวกเราอยู่กันแบบนี้ไม่ได้หรอกครับงั้นผมจะไปกับคุณไม่ดื้อสิครับผมไม่ได้ดื้อนะครับผมก็เป็นห่วงคุณมากพอที่คุณเป็นห่วงผมนะครับ So that's the moment he decided. Okay, well, clearly you go. You're not gonna listen to me, so I'm gonna have to just lock your ass here. See, I already had trust issues in this. Now you're gonna try and use sex to lure me to handcuff me to the damn just staircase. Mm -mm. We ain't never having sex again. I can't trust your ass. <laughs> That you didn't even notice him having handcuffs somewhere near you right now. The fact that he got the handcuffs on the on the fucking staircase and then on your arm and you didn't even notice means that he is doing a damn good job at his seduction. His sex game is top tier. That's some great a dick. That good dick will mess up, mess up your life though. Fuck up your credit. These conversations for another time, though. Thickens. So you gonna sneak into his house in the middle of the fucking night, girl? You trying to get shot? Oh, Lord. I bet your ass went up in here unarmed too. Can you please stop hitting me with guns, Lord? Of course you won't, because you got whatever fucking vendetta against me since day one. Blind in your damn judgment, Lord. Of course, Tan's stupid ass was the one who came here, so. I 
mean, Tan could have at least left like a, a plate of crackers or something nearby. Cause like, what, what, what if, what if Poor did listen and then Tan ended up dead and didn't wasn't able to come back and unlock a button? Like, you could have left him with something, a little snack pack, some Rice Krispies. Some water. Girl, really? You gonna call- You left me handcuffed to the fucking staircase. You expect me to get to my phone right now? Okay, well, good job. I don't know why you didn't think of that earlier, maybe call somebody to come get you, but okay. Hello? Child? Poor, are we right outside your house? You you, you don't have people watching? Uh, nothing? So now you've drugged her and don't have her tied up? So when she becomes conscious, she can untie him? Again, I don't, I don't know what logic they, 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 they have. Lord, I swear I've got incompetent kidnappers. I was gonna say, are we not gonna have any talks about, hey, maybe untie me? Again, whoever the kidnappers are throwing them in the same room. Stupid. I need you to be quiet, because you're, you're like delirious right now and we're trying to sneak out. ผมจะได้กับพอเพื่อดีๆเนาะไม่เศร้าอ้าวสารวัตรหมดยอดเรามาขอรับตัวแรงงานหญิงที่ทางตำรวจส่งมาพักกับคุณดูเมื่อวาน
Meanwhile, y'all claim y'all looking for ass. Jesus. Um, y'all claim y'all looking for um, bun and tan. I feel like. If y'all really needed to find Bun, y'all could have pinged like a cell tower and be like, okay, his phone was last seen on here and we could have gone to that location. Meanwhile, he's handcuffed to this this poor staircase for God knows how many days. Okay, well, what proof do you need that he is dead? Do I just need to like send you a picture? Cause I can, I can have him pose. We can set up some blood or something and make it look like he's dead. Send you a couple pictures. I don't believe that you're gonna release. Hello. <laughs> I don't believe for a minute that you're gonna release them. Okay. Yes, Officer Daddy. How, how can I help you? Oh, poor baby. Pan. 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 But bitch, how could you leave me here? Oh, okay. We're worried about him. I'm sitting here like, girl, I am starving. I ain't have food in God knows how long. I am thirsty. I gotta pee. My arm is tired. But yeah, I guess we, we love him too, so I guess we can worry about him. Okay, but I want to see what conversation you have with Mr. Sexy Police Officer who was pointing that gun at you. Girl, what was the last of the conversations you need to hear about? I got kidnapped. We gotta make it look like you did. That was a big panoramic zoom around the mountain, Lord. Okay, I mean, this this seems like a a staged thing. I just I don't know why we had to take it out in the open like this, but okay. Are we gonna do the same thing that everybody else that happens to everybody else in this show? We're gonna shoot him, and then he's gonna get hit by a car in the in the road. Child. Okay, I guess we're not gonna get him hit by a car in the road. I mean, this camera work is gorgeous.
Okay. But unless you're like you were recording this, how does this prove that he is dead? I mean, again, I feel like this is all just a little setup here thing, but like, okay, so you're watching. Okay. Has the sheep gonna come and shoot you? Like, is this just gonna be a shooting party? Oh, Lord, everyone just go shoot everybody? Okay, so, I mean, not a damn person's dead. Like, Bun's not dead, Tan's not dead, they're, they're, they're not dead. We wouldn't have any more series, uh, but yeah, they're not dead. There's clearly some plan, some shenanigan going on, going down. Um, and I don't know if like that ending was their, like the writer's way of trying to like trick us into thinking, oh, Mr. Sexy Cop Man is, he's, he's on their side now and he's, you know, he's bad, blah, 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 blah. And like everyone's dead and they're trying, or if that's their w way of like, you know, obvious because to me it seems like a very obvious like little red herring like there's a there's a plan in the works here um so i'm gonna assume with as much care has gone into this series and as much just great writing directing and whatnot that that was planned as well and they're trying to frame it as like an obvious red herring like they've shown us enough information throughout the episode to allude to the fact that a Tan's not gonna kill Bun. B, that little... If that little... Stop didn't happen, like if Sexy Police Officer didn't stop Tan on his way back to Bun, you know, pointing a gun at him and all that kind of stuff, out of uniform, then, you know, I might be suspect to believe that Mr. Police Officer, man, Sexy Man, was, you know flipping sides and he was on the bad guy side now but since that little stop happened and they specifically showed us that stop that little interaction between him and tan like it leads me to believe that whatever conversation took place between he and tan now mr officer man knows that his chief is corrupt knows that the police there, there's corruption in the police ranks um so he's just playing along with this little plan. So where we set up, the, which is why they went and run into the open. Because I'm like, in my head, I'm like, it, obviously he's not going to kill him. But we need to make it look like he's dead. So how how does, how are we going to do that? Because I don't think like pictures are going to be enough. Like we could just stage a murder and take some pictures and send it to police chief. But I don't feel like that's going to be enough. I feel like the police is going to chief is going to need some sort of tangible evidence like a body or need to have witnessed something so yeah that's why we staged that whole little thing there by the cliffside so we shot him he fell over obviously i don't think he got shot shot or if he did get shot tan knows what he was doing so he didn't shoot him anywhere vital we shot him in the arm or the shoulder or something somewhere where he he'll survive um so then and then he you know jumped into the ocean so we'll see if the body gets recovered I'm assuming they probably won't recover the body um, because he's alive. Um, and then Sexy Officer Man shot Tan. But again, I feel like he's in on the plan, so he probably shot him somewhere that is not lethal. And I'm going to assume that, the, you know, the police aren't just going to walk away and be like, okay, bye. Do, 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 do. Like, I'm assuming they're going to, like, investigate the body, you know, have ambulance come pick him up and all that kind of stuff so he's gonna act gonna have to act dead there's some witchcraft i don't know maybe tan got him some sort of medication or something that's gonna lower his heart rate so he can 
fake being dead. I don't know. Lots of ways we could get around this. Bas basically, nobody's dead. Nobody's dead, and that that's that. It's all just some plan that we've got cooked up here to get the police chief, you know, and the other p political person just bring them to justice. So this is all part of some plan. How the rest of this plan is going to play out, I don't know. What the details are of this plan, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but I feel like this scenario in combination with the trafficked girls, which is an interesting um, turn of events, um, that might present enough evidence or information to get things rolling as far as convicting the chief and, you know, Mr. Political Man. I keep forgetting what his actual title is. So I just keep calling, calling him Political Man. Uh, political Man to save the day. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting turn of events to have the trafficked girls show up. Um, we'll have to see what role they play as well as Nam and that. I mean, if we've learned nothing else from the beginning of this episode, good dick will get you handcuffed to a staircase and it'll ruin your credit. So beware, <laughs> beware of the lore of good dick because it, it, it'll fuck up your life with a quickness. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I just, I, 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 I don't know exactly where the next episode's gonna go, but I think at this point we've got four episodes left, so we'll we just have to wait and see. Um, I'm sure that Poor is gonna play some sort of role in this too. I, I don't feel like we're done with him yet. Jane's sister is gonna play some sort of important role. She, she's not done yet. And again, I don't, I just from this episode, from the last couple episodes, like I feel like like, I keep going back and forth on Sexy Police Officer. I feel like he's a good guy who's just following orders of his corrupt leader and not really knowing how in-depth he is with this. But I feel like he's starting to figure that out and trying to do the right thing. Other short, sexy police officer man, his, his little accomplice man, um, I don't know. I don't know how... Cause I swear, I swear those were his eyes under the, under the mask that was shooting everybody and getting them run over by cars. But maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I've just had that narrative in my head for like the last five or six episodes. So it's like, it's hard for me to see him as like a good guy now. So maybe I'm mistaken, I don't know. I just gotta wait and see, just gotta wait and see. But yeah, another just episode full of twists and turns. And you, you just don't know where, where things are gonna go. So I have to wait until next time to see where things are going to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll get to you as, as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.